when summer getting here I'm really fed up of this winter it just seems to be going on forever and ever so how do you get to 400 horsepower without ruining your car I'm going to show you we've got a couple of uh, cars coming in a little bit later along with the guy uh, who makes the turbos which I'm having some great results with recently. Robert Fastline Turbos, he'll be joining us and bringing down a few of his turbos to talk through. So stick around, uh, you might find that quite interesting. So 400 horsepower, how do we get there? Previously, it's been the reserve of larger turbos like Garrett Cord or some horrific cheap eBay specials that are based on the TDO6 where you can measure the spool up with a sundial very bad and will actually make the car slower in the real world even though it might produce the power but today I've got two cars down with me uh, both the JDM uh, one's a JDM Impreza STI and the other is a JDM Forester STI both of them have got Fastline VF400 turbos on Okay, right, I'm with uh, Richard and his Forester SDI. So I'm gonna pass you over to Richard. He's gonna talk you through what he's done to this car uh, to get us to the 406 horsepower mark. Uh, 2006 Forester STI, forged engine rebuild built by Triton Motorsport in Bournemouth. Currently running a sports <laughs> exhaust system. So sort of very road legal in regards to the um, exhaust system with the turbo. It's got a grim speed induction kit and running a fast line VF400 turbo from Robert Knight. Okay. Um, it's got a mega pistons and rods in with uh, RCM head studs and RCM head gaskets. Okay. Um, and got... 1050 ID dynamics injectors converted from the yellow 505 side feeds. Yeah, you can't see the injectors down there, but they are, they are down there. There's. Um, Top feed conversion onto this. This is normally a side feed on the Forester SDI. I don't know why they used that, but they decided to. Probably had it on the part shelf. Okay, right. So yeah, today we're we're just gonna see where we're at. Hopefully, we'll be around the the 406 mark again. Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. Cool. So I'm set up in Richard's car, just going to give it a quick run on the dyno, see whether it's still around the 406 mark, uh, and if necessary, give it a little tweak, see if there's a little bit more in the map, and there's a bit more. So, here we go. So that's where we got to, 406, uh, 407 and a half. Um, 1.4 bar boost at the top. Um, yeah, holds up pretty much all the way through. Torque, um, 420, so about the same as before. Um, yeah, different day, different atmospheric conditions. It works. Cool. Okay, so we're here with Rob from Fastline Turbos and he's brought some of his turbos along. Uh, and I'll pass you over to him. He can talk you through what he's brought and um, where they fit into the range. Hi, so um, 
This is sort of the entry level hybrid, probably suitable for your WRX, um, anyone that probably wants to look for anything from 300 to 330 horsepower, something like that. Obviously it's a direct bolt on and that's sort of like a stage one upgrade that will get you to that sort of figure. There is obviously a bit of a jump between these two. There is uh, ones that will probably fill a vo the void in between, but this yeah. is our VF400, which is obviously very popular. A lot of Subaru owners run this. It's designed to, again, fit in the stock location, direct bolt on, um, and provide, you know, 400 horsepower with a uh, good spool to match. So that's probably one of our most popular units if that isn't probably quite enough for you if someone gets then, really greedy <laughs> yeah then obviously this is a gtx 3076r gen 2 so these are good for anything over 500 horsepower we have had sort of up to getting close to 550 out of these on pump fuel but as, cool. a, as a general rule we normally say sort of 500 525 but again yeah. there is different versions in between if that's too much there is one that will do 480 to 500 both of these do come in single scroll and twin scroll so there's that option okay um and yeah they're all we design them so they're all direct bolt on you don't have to start messing around with different you know pipes or these come with their own fitting kit so it all comes these just bolt onto your existing uh pipes and flanges so you don't have to obviously uh, mess around with any fancy okay. kits or anything and they're, so, yeah. they're a mixture of, of um, roller bearing or sleeve bearing? Yeah, these the, are journal yeah. bearing. So, um, yeah, they're just normal journal bearing, although they're slightly improved over the stock bearings. These are Garrett ball bearings. So any of the Garrett series that we do are, um, yeah, Garrett ball bearing. Okay, that's cool. And that's obviously um, the special that's wheel cool. we've had made and designed for us that's point milled and obviously it's slightly better than the normal designs. Closing on that, you can and see the- it's got a name on it. <laughs> it's got your name on it, that's the important bit. I've, I've mapped loads of cars with the VF400, the, the red one here, and every one of them has achieved what it's supposed to do. And we've got two of them here today. One of them is, is Richard's Forrester SDI, and we've got Matt's JDM STI outside that will come in a bit later in action on the dyno. And again, we've got one of Robert Fastline's VF 400 turbos. Right, next up, we've got Matt's JDM Impressor STI, um, also with one of uh, Fastline's VF 400 turbos. And I'm going to be mapping that today and seeing where we get to. As you can see from his engine bay, he's spent a lot of time making it look absolutely beautiful. This is possibly one of the nicest engine bays that I've worked in. Beautiful piece of work, well done Matt. Very nice indeed. So, looking forward to seeing what this will do. You hypnotize. 
Well, that was a bit manic today. Um, lots of people, lots of cars, or well, a couple of cars. Um, hopefully, uh, I can pull this together into a video that's interesting to watch. Um, the main points of the video were, you know, if you want to get to 400 horsepower without ruining your car, um, then you need a turbo that is going to produce the power, but without massive amounts of lag. And the VF400 turbo from Fastline Turbos does just that. Um, as we've seen on both of these cars today. They also produce um, smaller turbos for around the 320, 330 horsepower, which is a, a very nice level that uh, a lot of WRX owners are looking to get to. And they do turbos around the 500 horsepower mark. Obviously this sounds like an advert for them, but it isn't. Uh, they've not paid me anything to produce this video. I'm doing this because I get asked the question all the time as to what turbos um, I would recommend. Anyway, I'll see you in the next episode. And um, yeah, see you soon. Bye. <laughs> Four hundred horsepower. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> so let's scrap that. It's not very good. If you've ever tried talking to camera, your mind goes absolutely blank. So apologies. Uh, this is probably take twenty.